to Kindi Easy Thai Food at Home. I am Gift. Today I will show you how to make Thai dessert. It is Khao Niang Mang Muang. This dessert is known around the world from Thailand. And one of my viewers, she requested me to make it. Khao Niang Mang Muang means sticky rice cooked with coconut sugar or palm sugar and coconut milk and eat with ripe mango. In Thailand, the best mango that they eat it with is Nan Dok Mai. I'm not sure what its English name is, but I searched online it's called Barracuda Mango. I don't know if I pronounced correct or not. Alright, before we go to the ingredients, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to ring the bell for remind you to don't miss my next recipe. Now let's get started. I use two cups of sticky rice and you have to rinse until the water is clear. I rinsed 10 times to make rice clear color after it's cooked. While cleaning, I wrap the sticky rice fairly gently to remove the rice latex and the grain won't break into small pieces. Next is soak the sticky rice for 3 hours. After 3 hours, you remove the water. Rice being soaked will be very sensitive. If you rinse it again, the rice will bake into small pieces and will not look nice after cooked. Next is steam the rice. You should put the cheat cloth to holding the rice and easy to flip the rice over to cook thoroughly. First, I steam for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, you flip the bottom up, then steam again 5 minutes. Next, transfer the sticky rice to a bowl and then make the coconut milk sauce or nam kati moon khao niao I put the coconut milk into the pot place the coconut sugar granulated sugar and salt stirring it on the heat until the sugar is dissolved Now I'm going to moon khao niao or sticky rice. I place the half of the mixture into the sticky rice and mix them together. Then put the wrap over for 10 minutes to let the sticky rice absorb all of the mixture. After 10 minutes, place all of the remaining mixture into a bowl and mix them together again and do the same things this time rest the sticky rice for 20 minutes if it's still too wet you can do it longer once it's ready set it aside now time to make the topping i use coconut milk one and a half cups Rice flour, one and a half teaspoon. Salt, one quarter teaspoon. And roasted sesame, two pinches. I add in coconut milk and salt into the pot. Next is rice flour and stir it quickly. Or you can also dissolve the flour with the water or coconut milk first before adding. Next is peel the mango and don't forget to wash your hands. The hard part for me. I couldn't find the sweet mango like in Thailand. I use honey mango. You have to figure out the sweet mango to eat with the sticky rice. Remove the skin and cut top and bottom part into slices. I usually save the mango around the seed. It's the richest part for me. Once everything's ready, place everything together on the paste. 
and cover with the topping. The roasted sesame is optional, but it's good to eat with sticky rice or kanyeo moon. Now kanyeo moon is ready to serve. Alright, now time to taste taste. So I have to eat sticky rice and mango together. I think this one is perfect. The sticky rice is creamy and hold together nicely. And it's not too sweet. It's, I like it. It's good. <laughs> and I want to tell you the coconut milk that I like to use is I topping roasted sesame. It's paired really well with sticky rice. So if you go to Thailand around mango season, you will see a lot of street food. They sell kang niang mamuang or sticky rice with mango. You have to figure out which one is the best for you. And this is my recipe. I make it my taste. If you want sweeter or less sweet, you can adjust your sugar. Today, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to my channel for support me to keep creating the new recipe. And hope you try out this dessert. It's very good. And see you next time with the next Thai recipe. Bye.